I'm Howard McMillan. Uh, most of you know I'm the um, acting president here at Millsaps, and it's it's my pleasure to to welcome you here. Uh, today's been a great day. Uh, this is Founders Day. We've had a chance to uh, look back to our founders and the foundations that were laid uh, to help make this such a great college. And today uh, we have a chance to look forward to new leadership under our new president. Uh, this has been a good day, and it's fixing to get a whole lot better. <laughs> uh, I know all of, all of us are excited uh, about the introduction that is going to be made in a short uh, few minutes and the remarks that we'll hear, but I, I can assure you that I'm the most excited person on the campus. <laughs> uh, it's been an honor for me to serve as your acting president, and I'm committed to continue to work with and for you uh, until Rob is, is here full time, and I hope that will be pretty soon. <laughs> uh, as we celebrate the 120th year of Millsaps College, I'm reminded of how proud I am of this special place. We remain a college of integrity and quality, serving both Mississippians and those who journey to Mississippi for, for one of the South's best educations. We remain a college recognized in the top tier of rankings, measurable by faculty and student success. To those of you who have supported Millsaps through the years as faculty, staff, students, trustees, alumni, and friends, I want to thank you. Your support of the college enables our students to pursue their education and ultimately set the courses for lives of leadership and service. Now it's my great pleasure to introduce our chairman of the Board of Trustees, Maurice Hall. Maurice. Good afternoon, and thank all of you for joining us today to welcome Dr. Robert W. Perrigan and his wife, Phoebe, to Millsaps on their first official visit since his selection as our 11th president. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the contributions of the faculty, staff, alumni, and student representatives who served on the search committee and worked tirelessly for about nine months to reach this moment. All of those folks deserve a great thanks from everybody. <laughs> that committee brought a recommendation to the uh, Board of Trustees, which is the ultimate decider in these things, and the Board of Trustees unanimously approved the committee's recommendation of Rob Perrigan as the next president, the right choice for Millsaps College. As you already know, Rob and Phoebe come to us from Sewanee, a sister institution in the Associated Colleges of the South. Both Rob and Phoebe have degrees and leadership experience with excellent liberal arts colleges. Both are Phi Beta Kappa graduates of those institutions. Rob graduated from Sewanee and Phoebe from Birmingham Southern. Rob's master's and doctoral degrees are from Duke University in political science. He is a constitutional scholar, he loves teaching, and he exemplifies the highest tradition of liberal arts education. Following academic appointments at Virginia Tech and Hillsdale College, he returned to Sewanee in 1987 as Dean of Students and a member of the political science faculty. As Vice President for University Relations, Rob has just recently led Sewanee to the conclusion of the largest capital campaign in the university history. Phoebe holds a Master of Fine Arts degree from Southern Methodist University, and at Sewanee she is an instructor in the Theater Arts Department and is the founder and director of the Sewanee Dance Conservatory. The Perrigans have two children, Carolyn, 17, and Wesley, 14. On behalf of the entire Millsaps community, please help me welcome Dr. Rob Perrigan and Phoebe.
kind and encouraging words. Um, Maurice, uh, more thanks later. We commemorate today the founding of Millsaps College, and we salute the three men, and no doubt the women who supported them, whose vision, commitment, and hard work laid the foundation for an educational experience that has transformed countless lives for well over a century. Reuben Millsaps, Charles Galloway, and William Murrow are honored as the founders of the college. I had the opportunity recently to read about these men and their high faith in genuine education, as described by Millsaps historian Marguerite Goodman. Of Major Millsaps, I learned about his romantic realism and his belief that anything is possible as long as vision, industry, and integrity abide. Of Bishop Galloway, it is said that he was singularly responsible for moving the minds that moved the world in the late 19th century. And of Dr. Murrah, I've read of his quiet dignity, his seriousness of purpose, and his tenderness of soul. Woven as a thread through the thoughts and intentions of these giants in Millsap's history was their belief in the transformative value of education and their hope for the future. The future of the college they helped found, the future of the students who would study and learn here, the future of the Methodist Church, and the future of this great state of Mississippi. Today, as we honor the past of Millsaps College and look toward the future, as did our founders, I'm deeply humbled to be introduced as the next president of the college. I will inherit an institution that, of which the founders would be enormously proud. It is an institution known for academic intelligence academic excellence and pioneer thinking, for a pervasive spirit of warm relationships and compassionate service to others, for making a difference in the lives of students and of those whom they touch, and for being an exemplar of liberal arts education as the very best preparation for life. These characteristics and qualities are manifest today in multiple programs and experiences here at Millsaps, including an international and global studies program led by the Millsaps faculty that takes students throughout the world, including our own 4,500-acre biocultural preserve in the Yucatan, where students study subjects such as archaeology, anthropology, biology, and literature in a richly interdisciplinary way. A liberal arts curriculum leading into business education in the L School of Management that provides the skills and entrepreneurial inspiration to propel students into immediate success in the business world. Pre-professional programs and internships in medicine, law, and education, and other careers that are marvelous examples and opportunities for students to prepare for their chosen vocation while enjoying a well-rounded liberal arts education. The Faith and Work Program that helps students explore how their calling and career can work together for the common good. An impressive array of student life and athletic opportunities that build character, promote collaboration and teamwork, provide opportunities for healthy competition, and prepare students for lives of principled leadership. And a Phi Beta Kappa chapter that was ranked just last week by the national organization as one of the top chapters in the nation of this most prestigious academic honor society. And at the heart of these programs, into each of these programs and experiences are a brilliant, nationally acclaimed faculty and an outstanding staff dedicated to the mission of this place and to its very, very bright future. And all of this is built on the foundation in the Methodist Church that helps to shape in a meaningful way the culture and ethos of the college and to reinforce the values of freedom of inquiry and broad-based education in light of the Wesleyan tradition and understanding of reason and faith. The image portrayed here is of an ideal liberal arts college experience rooted in a bold and courageous past, nourished by inspiring teachers and devoted supporters, and growing toward an even greater, more ambitious, and more influential future. To be sure, Millsap faces challenges today that are formidable, we must expand our student recruitment and retention success, 
shore up our finances, improve our support for our faculty and staff, increase the engagement of our alumni and friends, and significantly grow our endowment. But with careful and creative strategic planning and an unrelenting focus on excellence in teaching and learning, these are manageable challenges. And we can address them optimistically and ambitiously because of the exceptional quality of the Millsaps experience today, the devotion and support of those who love the place, and the 120-year tradition of being mission-driven and student-centered. Millsaps has all the right ingredients in place to advance in excellence and reputation and influence and to be a beacon of liberal arts education as preparation for a good and worthy life of learning, leadership, and service. It will be my highest privilege to work alongside the Millsaps faculty and staff and students and alumni and friends to advance the promise of this great college in the years ahead. I'd like to conclude with just a few words of thanks. First, I want to express gratitude to Maurice Hall and the Board of Trustees for this privilege and for their trust. And to the Presidential Search Committee, chaired by Trustee Tom Folks, for the time and energy they invested in this process and for the many kindnesses that they conveyed to me along the way. I would also like to thank Acting President Howard McMillan for his excellent stewardship of the college this year and his personal encouragement and counsel to me. He, along with many members of the faculty and staff uh, here at Millsaps, have already reached out in many ways, large and small, and I'm very grateful for that. And I would like to thank Frances Lucas for her dedicated service to Millsaps and her distinguished tenure as the 10th president of the college. Dr. Lucas is a highly respected leader in American higher education, and she has left an impressive and important imprint on the college. Finally, I want to thank my family, for their support and love as we turn the page to this next chapter in our family story. My wife Phoebe and our 14-year-old son Wesley are very much looking forward to moving to Jackson this summer. Our 17-year-old daughter Carolyn is weighing her college options now and trying to decide where she'll begin her freshman year next fall. But uh, as a lover of history and, a, and a, uh, of literature and a very voracious reader, I'm sure she'll find her vacation time here in Mississippi very rewarding. So all the parogens express warm uh, gratitude for all the support of the Millsaps family. We appreciate the very generous reception we've received by the college and by the Jackson community. And we can't wait to begin our time here this summer in this uh, great college and this wonderful city. Thank you very much. try to answer any questions that you might have, be uh, more than happy to do that. And if no one has any, that's okay too. <laughs> Yes, please. Hi. Uh, nice to see you again. I enjoyed having lunch with you when I was here a few weeks ago. I did too, and I was actually, um, you said you wanted to teach a class here. Mm -hmm. uh, have you already talked about it? Do you know what class you, you will be teaching next semester? Well, thanks for asking. Um, <laughs> that's a, well, actually, I, I, uh, I appreciate that. that. You may be uh, priding me in ways that I need to be prided. Um, I have taught every year uh, at Suwannee whatever administrative positions I've had, I've always been in the classroom. And my classes are usually courses in constitutional law, uh, civil rights and liberties, uh, jurisprudence, or political theory. Um, my uh, new friends in the political science department have, have uh, agreed to uh, be, let me be an interloper and teach somewhere along the way. I'm not sure if I'll do it in the fall or spring or when, but it'll be soon uh, to me, being in the classroom, having the opportunity to get to know students, Sharing that experience with my faculty colleagues uh, makes it makes uh, my work as an administrator incredibly more valuable uh, 
the stories I tell will so much be about the students and my faculty colleagues. So to be in the classroom is very important. Not sure when I'll do that. Um, I have to talk to my bosses about that. <laughs> see, 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 what, see what they think. But I look forward to it very much. Hello. Yes, please. I'm Jessica Bates. I'm the third legend. Hi, Jessica. I wanted to ask, um, so what are you most looking forward to um, appreciating the experts? Thanks. Um, thanks for the article last week as well. It was nice of you all to cover the story so well. Um, I'm looking forward to meeting the folks in this room. Um, I'm looking forward to getting to know this community, uh, this school. Um, looking forward to working with the students here. I have been so impressed from my first visit to campus when I snuck in as a prospective parent uh, of, a, of a prospective student uh, and had a great visit with two uh, uh, guys in the admissions office. I learned then just how impressive this place is and how rewarding the experience had been for them. So for me, the most important thing now is to get to know the students, the faculty, and the staff. So uh, the first year is going to be a lot of time meeting people, uh, listening a lot, um, and getting to know this place. So that, that's going to be the first, first, first job will be meeting this community and getting to know everybody. That's what I'm most looking forward to. Also looking forward to um, an opportunity to help the institution move forward in some uh, very important ways. <coughs> The foundation is superb. Uh, when you've got a faculty and staff and a history as you do, there's, um, there's incredible opportunity. Uh, but as I mentioned a moment ago, there's some things that we need to do. And um, looking forward to helping um, <clears throat> find support for programs that are so very important. Just came from a, uh, a luncheon, excuse me, with, with um, scholarship donors and students. And it was so nice to meet people who are making such a difference in young people's lives. And we've got work to do uh, to help continue that support. So a lot of opportunity on that score. What do you plan to do as a service in order to increase your value and bring more students and attract them to campus? Well, um, I have a new colleague, Michael Thorpe, who is a, a, a very talented new dean of admissions. And uh, I will be looking forward to taking some orders from him on how I can help. I, I, I do know that um, as president, it'll be a great privilege to help in that recruitment effort. And I understand there are presidential scholars, students here this weekend. I might have a chance to meet with some of them. Um, I would like to think about uh, reaching out to students who have been admitted, uh, who, have, who are still weighing their college choices. And there may be some phone calls that can be made or some letters that can be written. But... You know, our first uh, priority is to uh, bring in a great class of 2014. And so I'll be looking to, forward to working with Michael and uh, seeing what I can do to help bring in that class. But I'm also very grateful for his experience and the experience of the counselors and uh, looking to their uh, support in that process. Yes? Some of our student recruiters told me they have lost students who were interested in Millsaps <coughs> elsewhere because we did not have a band for <laughs> Is there a possibility? <laughs> Phoebe has always been my number one job security, that uh, wherever I am, they quickly, everyone quickly finds out that she's the one that uh, counts the most. So uh, Phoebe's had a great uh, opportunity in Sewanee to teach in the college uh, and also teach children in the community. She's known around Sewanee as uh, Miss Phoebe, and around Sewanee I'm known as Mr. Phoebe. So, uh, <laughs> someone asked me the other day what I wanted to be called, and I said, well, maybe Mr. Phoebe would be just as well. So, uh, Phoebe's having lunch with theater department folks tomorrow and looking forward to getting to know them. And um, I think you'll find that she'll be making some extraordinary contributions to this community as well. Any other questions? Sure, I think uh, the, the fact of the matter is that whatever we do going forward must be built around um, a realistic and creative 
an ambitious strategic plan. Everything will flow from that. So as we, as we go out and, and think about what it is that the institution needs and how we might um, seek resources to help uh, with those needs, the fact of the matter is it must be driven by that strategic plan. And if you've got a great strategic plan in place, and you've got the buy-in of the community, and you've got the willingness to put the time and energy and resources into building that, and if you've got a great faculty and staff to make it work, and if you don't ever forget about uh, excellence as being your primary goal, and if you have wonderful leadership and support, then I think there's just no end to, to what we can do, what we can accomplish. So I look forward to helping build that, uh, that, that strategic plan. Here, here in Los Angeles. Yes? Well, that's, um, I'm still getting a, getting a paycheck from those folks up on the mountain. Uh, and so I, 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 I will need to, uh, uh, I've got a lot of work to do there uh, to wrap up what has been a wonderful uh, experience at Swanee for the last 23 years. Um, but they also understand that I've got, they also understand I have responsibilities beginning here. Um, I'll be back on campus several times. Um, I'll, I'm meeting with the transition team this afternoon. We'll be talking about uh, things I can do to help them and things they can do to help me. Um, I've got some, a dinner tonight with the cabinet. We'll be having a chance to we'll talk about what, what's uh, the next few weeks and months might, how that might play out. Um, I have an opportunity to meet with some folks tomorrow who have been very important to Millsaps uh, in, in recent years. So I'm beginning that process. Uh, I've been making a few phone calls to folks that I really look forward to getting to know. Um, as I mentioned a little while ago, I'm, I'm perfectly happy to see what I can do to help with the admissions process. So I think, I feel like I'm going to have two jobs for the next, uh, next, next few months, but I'm looking forward to that. Any other questions? You have talked a lot about working with students. Um, how can students work with you directly? Would you rather have them work with the SBA student representatives and then bring issues up to you, or would you like students to contact you more directly, shoot an email, come by your office? How will you work with them? Well, thanks. You know, um, I look forward to working with student organizations and the leaders of those organizations. You've got a wonderful. Um, Dean of Students here, Brett Katz, uh, Vice President for Student Affairs, and um, I'm anxious to spend time with Brett talking with him about how I might be able to help him in support of his work and the work of his student affairs team in, uh, in, in my time with students. The fact of the matter is the Student Government Association, um, the Residential Life Program, uh, there, there's so many venues for students to be involved. As a matter of fact, one of the things that's most impressed me about MELSAPS has been uh, the number of opportunities for leadership and what seems to be a very porous uh, institution in which students can find their way into uh, opportunities for leadership and involvement in a lot of different ways. So in, in large measure, I'll be taking my lead from uh, those on the staff and administration and the student leaders who can help me um, understand better and maneuver those, those uh, paths to, to um, involvement with students. The questions. This is kind of fun. <laughs> I didn't stand up to stop the question, but it seemed it was a, was a pause. Good. And uh, well, I want to thank all these folks for being here and for their good questions. Uh, for you, uh, we should have solved some of those questions uh, in the search process. <laughs> you know, better that you did. Uh, <laughs> thank you all for being here. We do want to thank everybody. And uh, we, we have a few gifts, I think, from... Uh, Dr. Parrish, on behalf of the student body, I'd like to warmly welcome you and your family to the Millsaps family and to our community. Um, and as a welcoming gift, we'd like to welcome you to our new home by giving you this book on Mississippi signed by all the senators. So thank you so much.
Hi, my name is Scott McNamee. I'm part of the president of the Student Staff Council. This is Manny Coward, our secretary. We'd like to welcome you on behalf of the staff to Millsaps. Um, one thing I was asked to think of something that you would hear. One thing you hear around here a lot about Millsaps is we are one big family. And we'd like to say welcome to the family. And with that, I present you and your wife, small and care for I was told I needed to bring muscles. <laughs> it's, it's our distinct pleasure um, to welcome Rob and Phoebe to the Millsaps family on behalf of the faculty. Sandra and I both served on the search committee and we are very, very pleased to reach this point um, of this introduction today. Um, and I know that I can speak on behalf of the family that we're all ready for this common pursuit of excellence for this place that we love and call home. And uh, we know that Rob and Phoebe have spent just a few years up the road at a, another school, but they'll quickly come to understand why we call this place home and love it like we do. So, welcome. all these wonderful gifts. Uh, I'm, I'm not looking at these umbrellas in this bag. I'm, I'm counting on sunshine like this uh, here in Mississippi, but we're very grateful and, and appreciate the warm reception and uh, look forward to meeting and getting to all of you folks tired. Thanks very much. students just tugged at our hearts from the very beginning and just so impressed with all your accomplishments and the commitment to um, service and the faith program that you have and we, we have just been touched by your warmth and your many kindnesses and um, your generosity to our children and um, all the many gifts. You saved me a trip to the bookstore today. I was planning on loving up to bring things. So we are really looking forward. Millsaps is a great place to be, and uh, it's just an exciting time. And I will echo Rob's uh, sentiments that 
one of the first things we are really looking forward to is getting to know everyone, and we so appreciate the turnout that has come. This, is, this will be great, and we will look forward to having you in our home. That's one of our favorite things to do is to get to know students and faculty and have them for dinner, and so we will look forward to doing that very soon. So we're pleased to have you, and maybe we'll start a few dance lessons. Rob, <laughs> I don't dance. <laughs> Imagine uh, Ginger Rogers and Fred Flintstone. <laughs> <laughs>